You're back again with another My Team video, guys, and today we're going to be talking about the spotlight challenges that are coming in NBA 2K21 My Team this season because, as you know, 2K confirmed that we are going to be getting spotlight challenges this season and stuff like that. So we're going to be talking about it. If you guys are ready and you're excited and you want to see the spotlight challenges get added right away, then leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and let me know down below in the comments what you guys want to see in the spotlights and stuff like that, and we're going to get right into it. So I do want to emphasize really quickly, though, these are my predictions. These are stuff that we're going to be predicting. We're going to be speculating and stuff like that and we're gonna get right into it so once again as you know 2k confirmed that we are going to be getting spotlight challenges you guys can see it right here on their blog they confirmed it 100% so no matter what we're going to be getting them it's just a matter of what time you know exactly what day and stuff like that and I do have a feeling they will be coming soon because we're getting some hints here and there for example right now if you see right here the challenge event that we have at the moment is you do end up getting 250 MT for every challenge win so I feel like they're kind of like hinting at it and on top of that guys if you zoom in right here you see the season seven they said hall of fame season you know so they kind of didn't even show the spotlights and stuff like that and so that picture right there leads me to believe that we might end up seeing maybe like a hall of fame you know type of spotlights we could also be getting the playoffs too because as you know the playoffs are around the corner it would be perfect timing for 2k to release some playoff performers maybe some hall of famers and stuff like that and also a big focal point this season is obviously the hall of fame class and everything like that and so we could definitely be seeing hall of fame or playoffs let me know down below in the comments which ones you guys prefer like do you want to see some hall of famers do you want to see some playoff players maybe you want to see a nice little mix of both that would be really cool if we could get a mix of like hall of famers and also you know playoff performers and stuff like that that would be great my boy paulino you know he came through we got some beautiful card art today and i'm telling you this is some beautiful card art obviously this is all concept and everything like that and we could definitely be seeing the Hall of Fame or it could be playoff. Now, one player that I do feel like we're going to be getting is going to be Dark Matter Tim Duncan out here. Like, Tim Duncan makes the most sense just because they kind of hinted at it. Even, like, in the picture that I showed you earlier, you can see Tim Duncan. You can see Kobe. You can see other players. And I feel like that might be a hint at, like, some future players we could be getting. And Tim Duncan, again, doesn't have a card. So they could either do Hall of Fame. They could do playoffs. You know, you already know what he did in the playoffs and the finals. So he would make sense. Oh, Another player that they do have on the screen is obviously my boy Kobe Bean out here. I wouldn't mind getting another Dark Matter Kobe. You know, the one that we have right now is a point guard. I wouldn't mind getting a shooting guard one and stuff like that. And again, he could be Hall of Fame. He could be playoff. And my boy Paulino, he never disappoints. Make sure to go follow him on Twitter if you haven't already. I'll be leaving his link in the description below or on the screen. Go hit him with a follow on Twitter. Trust me. You guys have seen his card art. He basically, he should work for 2K. 2K, hire my boy. The reason that I think that we could be seeing some players like this is because everybody right now is talking about the Hall of Fame. I'll show you guys on the screen really quickly too some potential players that not only we could be seeing, but also we could be seeing as Hall of Fame and stuff like that. So another player is Kevin Garnett. As you see right here, the Basketball Hall of Fame is already counting down five days until the hoop class and everything like that. So we got Kevin Garnett. Obviously, the main guy is Kobe. Everybody's talking about Kobe right now. You know, he's going to be... We miss him and everything. He's obviously going to be the main guy when it comes to the Hall of Fame this time around this week. It's literally happening this week, too. And we could definitely be seeing other players, too. Like, there's definitely... I mean, the Hall of Fame list is literally endless. We have so many players. You know, we could maybe be seeing some coaches, too. That would be really... That would be interesting. Same with, like, obviously, Tim Duncan could be getting a card. We could be getting previous ones, too. They're really hinting at Kevin Garnett. Uh, as well like in 2k because they've been like tweeting about it i'll show you guys some tweets they've been talking about kevin garnett and stuff like that so maybe we could potentially be seeing some more players like that and let's get back to some of the cards that my boy paulino made because i'm telling you man like i said they're beautiful the other player that i would love to see would be somebody like alan iverson out here man tell me you wouldn't want to see a dark matter alan iverson He's obviously a Hall of Famer. Another player that could also be with Allen Iverson could also be like a Yao Ming. You know, there's a nice little beautiful picture with Yao Ming. You got the big diesel and you got Allen Iverson, the whole Hall of Fame aspect and everything like that. Again, it could be Hall of Fame. It could be playoffs. So we could definitely be seeing like an Allen Iverson, either Hall of Fame or playoff. You know what he did in the playoffs as well, even in the finals. He might have not won, but he did his thing out there against the Lakers too. And then the same with Yao Ming. You know, he did his thing as well, both Hall of Famer and also in the playoffs. And then obviously some more players too. Another player that I could potentially be seeing is obviously the Kevin Garnett. I don't know if I showed you guys the picture already, but I'll put it up on the screen. Kevin Garnett could also end up being one of the Hall of Fame, you know, spotlight players. Now this would be like potential final rewards. We would obviously be seeing a lot of different players just because every time we get spotlights, for example, the last ones we got, you got a lot of pink diamonds. 
I'm assuming this time around, if they were to release the spotlight soon, I feel like they would be Galaxy Opals, right? Like that Allen Iverson. I feel like Allen Iverson always gets a spotlight card. So we could definitely be seeing Galaxy Opals, like free Galaxy Opals come out, and then obviously the final players would be like some of these dark matters that I'm showing you. Maybe a Tim Duncan, maybe a Kobe, maybe a Kevin Garnett, maybe somebody else. And speaking of other people, another player that I do have a feeling could be getting a Hall of Fame card and stuff like that could be Paul Pierce. Paul Pierce, I mean, you know what he did in the playoffs too. And obviously, Paul Pierce would also be either Hall of Fame or, you know, it could be a playoff set. So that'd be another player that we could potentially be seeing. Again, these are speculations. I'm just giving you guys my guesses and some of the players that I would love to see. And again, we could be seeing Allen Iverson. We could be getting Paul Pierce, Yao Ming, Kevin Garnett, Tim Duncan, Kobe Bean, a lot of other potential players, obviously. Now, when it comes to like if they do the playoffs, we could be definitely seeing some other players. Like, for example, the main guys that are going to be making the playoffs this season are going to be players like Luka. We got players like Kevin Durant, you know, the Nets out there. So we could definitely be seeing some of those players, maybe like a Galaxy Opal, maybe a Dark Matter as the final reward. Maybe a James Harden, you know, he hasn't gotten a Dark Matter either. There's definitely a lot of Dark Matter players that we are still getting this year in my team. And I wouldn't be surprised if we see some of them for like the spotlights. And again, we could definitely be seeing maybe some future Hall of Famers that are currently in the playoffs, maybe like a Luka. You know, he's been doing his thing too. And there's definitely a lot of potential when it comes to the spotlight challenges. One thing that I do hope that they don't do is I'm hoping that they do not make it where you have to complete uh, Galaxy Opal John Wall. I know that a lot of people always ask the question, like, do you, are you going to need, you know, the previous player and stuff like that? Now, keep in mind that last year in 2K20, 2K did end up making it where you had to get, like, the James Harden. You had to get, like, the other players to get the GOATs, Kobe, which, you know, you never know. We could be getting GOAT cards this year on my team, too, so that could be another way for them to introduce a GOAT player. Maybe a GOATs, Kobe. Maybe they bring the Spotlight Challenges Hall of Fame theme, and maybe the reward is going to be, finally, you know, a GOAT card, and it'll be Kobe being out here that can play the two, the three, maybe the one and the two. That'd be really cool. I would rather have him play the one or the two. And again, with 2K, you never truly know because they like giving players multiple cards and stuff like that. Like, honestly, we're going to be getting another Dark Matter Kobe, another Dark Matter LeBron and players like that, Dark Matter Michael Jordan and so on. I remember last year, they ended up giving us like the Galaxy Opal James Harden. Let me know that one in the comments right now if you are playing 2K20. So comment down below right now, hashtag I remember if you guys remember the 2K20 you know, spotlights energy like that. And if you don't remember, say hashtag I'm new. That way I know if you do remember or you don't remember. And obviously we did have other players like Hakeem. We had the uh, James Harden. These were collections. And again, these were required for Kobe. Again, I'm hoping that they don't make it like that this season. Cause like, I really do not want to do the John Wall ones, even though John Wall is a great card. But at this point, there's better players. And also last year, they ended up introducing the GOAT cards during this time too. And they ended up releasing like a GOAT Curry. You know, you had to do challenges, spotlight challenges for him. When you completed them, you got GOAT Curry. They also ended up doing a GOAT to Larry Bird, which I wouldn't be surprised if he also ends up getting like a Hall of Fame card, maybe a player in the spotlight challenges and stuff like that too, just because it's Larry Bird. We haven't had a Dark Matter Larry Bird in a while either. And again, we could be seeing maybe some nice little GOAT players, some new free Dark Matters that you can grind for in the game, maybe some more free Galaxy Opals and stuff like that. And again, I'm hoping that 2K doesn't make it where you have to do the previous ones. I know a lot of people were complaining about it last year, like nobody wanted to do the previous ones, but you kind of had to if you wanted to get like the final reward. And again, 2K, do not do it like that this year, okay? Just make it where like each of them are individuals and they just do like their own thing and stuff like that. So again, I'm hoping that they don't do that. So we'll see what happens with that. But again, just right now, we don't know exactly if you do need them. They haven't hinted at it at all. They've just been hinting at like Kevin Garnett. They've been doing the whole Hall of Fame theme and stuff like that. You know, if you log in every day, you do end up getting Hall of Fame badges and stuff like that. They ended up opening the token market too with some rewards. They got some nice little Hall of Fame badges. A lot of Hall of Fame, like I said, a big theme this season is Hall of Fame and everything like that. So it'll be very exciting to see what else they're going to add. And again, a lot of the players that I mentioned, they don't even have Dark Matters. Now, obviously, players like Kobe, Kevin Garnett, they do already have like Dark Matters and so on. But players like Yao Ming, Paul Pierce, Allen Iverson, they don't have their Dark Matters and especially Tim Duncan. Like the best card I think for Tim Duncan is what? Like a diamond, I want to say. I wouldn't even be surprised if no, it, it should be a diamond. Let me just make sure. Pink diamond? No, pink diamond. I'm pretty sure it is a diamond. And so let me let me take a look. Bam. So Tim Duncan. Okay. Now something else that I do want to tell you guys is this is just speculation once again. But I would definitely save some of the players that you have in your collection. And again, this is speculation. But obviously, usually when we get spotlights, they do have requirements. For example, this one. It says you must use at least six Knicks players and stuff like that. So if I were you guys, I would definitely save those players that you might have in your collection at the moment and get ready to sell them once they do release the spotlight challenges. Again, I'm not saying that that's what they're going to do, but that could definitely 
definitely be something they also do for the spotlights that we'll be getting and again it is 100 percent confirmed that much we do know that right there we know for sure we're going to be getting spotlight challenges again it's on the blog they said spotlight challenges are coming and don't forget that this season is only we got 25 more days so they got to release them soon because they're not going to release it in the final week if they do the final week then like it's gonna lead into the next season and stuff like that so it's definitely gonna be coming soon whether it's this week next week you know we gotta wait and see and again let me know down below in the comments would you rather see a hall of fame set would you rather see a playoff set let me know down below because obviously if it's hall of fame we'll definitely be seeing more of the historic players tim duncan and stuff like that if we see the playoffs we'll see more of the current players and stuff like that and obviously the current players are a little bit cheesier so we'll see what happens and again guys i just wanted to make this video just to give you a heads up spotlights are going to be coming they could be coming sooner than later so definitely be ready be prepared be ready to play a lot of games and stuff like that and once 2k does end the release them i'll be making a video i'll give you some more tips and stuff like that so definitely stay tuned for that but for now though we're gonna call it right here guys once again spotlight challenges are coming this season in nba 2k21 my team it's just a matter of time now and again 2k is hinting at a lot of potential players that we could be getting like kevin garnett kobe tim duncan and players like that so we're gonna call it right there guys i'm gonna go get ready just in case they do release it even sooner than later and that right there is going to be the video if you enjoyed it and you're excited for spotlight challenges and all that good stuff then you know what to do leave a like on the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already let me know down below in the comments your thoughts and your opinions and let me know what you want to see and if you enjoyed this one check out these three videos popping up on the screen i ended up doing a pack opening with the new packs that came out check out my no money spent squad and then also check out dark matter vince carter that card is amazing go check it out and as always thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video